We're basically a Nuevo Latino restaurant, uh, one with Latin fusion, uh, one with uh, basically no rules as far as traditions go. With the cuisine, what we wanted to do, instead of labeling traditional or Mexican or Cuban or Caribbean, we pretty much took them, brought them all together. All that is Latin is pretty much what we're trying to, to encompass. A lot of fun drinks. The freshness in the drinks is what it's above and beyond. Uh, we get sugar canes in, we have a sugar cane press in the back, so we press our own sugar cane juice. Uh, but for the most part, they're a lot of fun and they're not skimpy. A lot of our customers mention that we're more diverse than any other restaurant they've ever experienced, whether it's here in Chicago, or in New York, Los Angeles. Uh, so the location where we're at in the city, we get a great diverse crowd. The vibe is just very alive. So many different people, all ages, enjoying dinner, enjoying music. We don't create a dance floor, but from time to time people do get up and dance and and there's really nothing we can do about that. It's quite all right. So Alan, you say that Quattro is simply sensational. Tell us why. I love Quattro. I, I, I discovered this place on a lark, and uh, ever since I've gotten there, the food is great, the atmosphere is great, everything is so good about the place. You go there by yourself, go there with a date, go there with friends, and you always have a good time. Good time and good food. How would you describe the food? Oh my God! <laughs> it would, I, it's nuevo Latino. It, it, nuevo Latino, um, definitely very, very well seasoned. Nothing over the top, mm -hmm. not pretentious, just good. It was very good. I must admit, it was all excellent. What you want? The appetizers were excellent. We had the salmon and um, scallop ceviche, and we had the pork empanadas which were just fabulous. And I had the Colombian corn crepes stuffed with mashed potatoes and cheese. And I had some doubts about, you know, corn crepes stuffed with mashed potatoes, but they were some of the best mashed potatoes I've ever had. And the combination was excellent. My husband had the jerk chicken, which was fabulous. It was perfectly seasoned. It was hot, but we like hot food. That's up to your husband. Yeah. That jerk chicken is way spicy for yeah. me. Yeah, it's, it's I love the jerk chicken. Oh my god, I can't taste the food after I eat that. It was very well cooked. The plantains were excellent. The rum drinks <laughs> are also <laughs> good. My favorite dish there is the asopao. It's a, it's a shrimp dish with rice, and uh, it's, it's very, very good. Anybody have the pork chop? No. no. The pork chop, they brine in sugar cane. <laughs> but it's not small. No, it's a good sized pork chop. <laughs> it's a good two and a half, three inches thick. And, wow. it, and it's all pork, pork chop. You like barbecue, you love this thing. So Craig, I assume you ordered some meat dish. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I had a, a stuffed chicken dish, which was the least exciting dish on the table. It came with um, a, a cornmeal side dish that was like a polenta mm -hmm. that was absolutely wonderful. I liked it better than the chicken. My wife, however, ordered what they called a short rib but it's the size of a baseball bat. <laughs> right. It was a full spare rib, and it had been braised in uh, beer and uh, onions, and the sauce was just intense, moist and delicate, and, and we could have good conversation in this place because of the high ceilings. We had a lively conversation. Ten people at a big, long table. We had no trouble hearing each other. We went on a night when there was a jazz vocalist, <clears throat> which was <clears throat> fabulous. We were a little afraid when we got there because there were four of us. We hadn't seen our friends in a while. We wanted to have a conversation, but we thought, eh, there's live music. It was, the volume was perfect to where we could have a conversation, but every time we stopped, we could hear her singing, and she had the most pleasant voice. Just watching the show to find yes, they have live music, but the food far outshines any entertainment they have there in the place. Far out shine. Now, what makes the food so good, though? It's a family-owned establishment. Maybe they make it with love. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but it, it surely comes through when you eat it. I, I don't know one person who's been there and has not had a good experience. I've got to talk about the ceviche because mm -hmm. I love ceviche, I, and I've never had salmon ceviche before. It was absolutely the finest ceviche I've ever had in my life anywhere on the planet, um, including Portugal. Wow. And uh, and it was just it was done like a pastry. I mean, the way it looked. He had these little slivers of avocado 
in closing the uh, meat? I had, of course, the biggest chocolate thing on the menu, um, the chocolate mousse cake mm. with sweet corn ice cream. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about the pistachio ice cream, the sweet corn ice cream is out of this world. Mm -hmm. I had some doubts about the mixture of vanilla and sweet corn, but it really tastes like corn mm -hmm. and it's fabulous. <laughs> Everything that you get there is going to be, I hate to say it, pretty food. When mm -hmm. you see it, it looks good, it tastes good. You can't yeah. get better than that. Now, you're almost a, a professional salsa dancer. Yes. <laughs> what oh. is it about Latin yeah. restaurants that make us feel free and, you know, just make us want to, like, let all our troubles go? I think the whole, uh, the whole Latin vibe, you know, whether it's a restaurant or just the music, it just lets people put their hair down. It feels romantic. Mm -hmm. uh, it feels very intimate. And so, you know, people take chances. When you go to a Latin restaurant, you'll take a chance. Maybe order something you weren't going to order before. The mojitos may have something to do with it. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the, the mojito has, probably has a lot really to do with Really good mojitos. Too. Really Excellent. good mojitos. <laughs> What's the crowd like at Quattro? The crowd is very, um, it's very mixed. I've never been there and seen the table of just all one background. It's a very diverse restaurant. Maybe Latin food does bring people together. So it is a very warm, vibrant culture. and yeah, Latin, makes people enjoy things and each other. Yeah, Latin food does bring people together. Mm -hmm. And good food brings people together, yeah. too. <laughs> All food brings people together, but yeah. especially if it's good. Oh, yeah. The combination of flavors is just amazing. They're I mean, unexpected flavors. They I mean, are. And you read the menu and you are thinking, well, how is this going to work? But they're perfectly blended. I must admit, it's some of the best combinations of flavors I've ever tried. Well, Alan, you pick Quattro. Give us a summary. Good food, uh, good friends. Go there with someone you love, and you'll have a great time. Okay. Craig? Just a really good melange of unusual flavors. Um, don't miss the salmon ceviche, even if the idea of marinated raw fish uh, uh, turns you off. It's just killer. Um, a lot of fun. The music's good. Pick a good night for the music and have a ball. All right. Victoria? Excellent combination of flavors. Very good entertainment. Excellent uh, live jazz. Service could be improved, but go there for sure. Well, you can try the ceviche and more at Quattro, 2030 South Wabash, 312-842-8856. Open for lunch and dinner Tuesday through Friday and for brunch and dinner on Sunday. Only dinner is served on Monday and Saturday. Reservations are accepted and the average tab per person without drinks is $35.